This is Ryan Elliott for Boxing Social in association with Betfred. We're in Los Angeles. We just watched KSI overcome Logan Paul via split decision. Eddie, as you said in the build-up, it was never going to be Hagler Hearns, but it was entertaining while, while it went on, wasn't it? I really fucking enjoyed it, to be honest with you. Uh, I found myself up, down, screaming, shouting. I had Justin Bieber next to me, going mad, screaming, shouting, wouldn't sit down. Um, I don't see how you couldn't have enjoyed it. Like, like everything that we said, never going to be Hagler Hearns, but they show plenty of bottle, plenty of toughness. And you know what? Like a lot of people from the fight community, especially fighters, will say you can't, you know, you don't know what it's like because you haven't stepped through the ropes. They have. Give them a little bit of respect and credit. That weren't easy what they've done tonight. Do you know what I mean? Don't get me wrong, they got a few quid, but it weren't easy. And uh, I think you have to respect them. I thought it was great. I thought it was great entertainment. It was almost the complete opposite of the last fight. Last time we saw Logan come out first couple of rounds, it looked like he was going to walk it, blew a gasket. Uh, he came out quite tentative, but had a bit more composure this time, whereas JJ came out like a steam train, and it looked from where we were after a couple of rounds like he was knackered. Yeah. You're absolutely done. Yeah, yeah. yeah, he was. Both showed a lot of heart in that. Well, he was, and the turning point in the fight, he got hit by a huge shot that wobbled him to his boots, and it was only because Logan hit him on the back of the head. I think if he hadn't have done that, I think the fight was over. Because I think he was gone. Um, but he just lost his rag, did that. Um, thought two points were a bit harsh. But I'm glad it was two points, because otherwise we would have had a draw. And then everyone would have thought it was uh, me, up to no good again. And um, yeah, I think it was... Uh, like, after that, I was convinced that Logan was going to win a fight. But KSI showed plenty of heart, plenty of bottle. You know, and he's... he's I knew this week that like, he really wanted to win this fight. So, aside from the the rivalry, we've seen all the you know the trash talk, etc. Yeah. In the build up, we just had Logan Paul in there kicking yeah. himself. We saw the respect in the ring afterwards. You think in a way these two guys, aside from everything, are incredibly similar in a way, and it needed to be th these two guys to produce that watershed moment for this big crossover yeah, as well. I mean, at the end of the day, they do the same thing for a living, and they're competing against each other every day to be the biggest, to create the best content, to do the most views. And um, I don't think they like each other, but if you can't respect each other after that, sharing that experience, then something's wrong. And I went up to KSI um, after the fight, and I said, you're going to show respect? And he went, no. And I went, okay. And then eventually he did. And that's the right thing to do, because you've got to show these new people watching the sport that that's what you do. When you box, you fight, and afterwards you shake hands and you show respect. That's what sport's about. So I'm glad they did that. I'm guessing since the end of that fight, your phone's been crazy with all sorts of people sort of throwing their hat into the ring. I saw an Eason Gibb on his way out. He was making lots of noise about Jay Paul as always. That said, you know, as we've been talking about all week, it just seems like this was the two right personalities and quite unique in a way. How hard is it going to be for, for two people to come along and sort of produce something on that level again and I'm pretty sure you'll only go back into this world for, for the yeah, absolutely right, right thing, right? I'm, I'm not saying I'm done with that, but it was an experience, it was an experiment. Um, we've seen the numbers were absolutely frighteningly huge everywhere and never say never, but roll on, Liverpool, Callum Smith, John Ryder, domestic world title fight and we'll see what happens. Back to reality next week. Um, has it been a learning curve for you this week? Massively, because you learn about a new world. You know, I'm supposed to be quite digitally savvy. These guys have taught me stuff that, you know, I mean, you've seen with your views. Um, you know, we've seen with our Matchroom Boxing YouTube channel. The, view, the views, the numbers, Sky of, Sky's stream of the weigh-in was the most watched stream ever on Sky Sports, across any sport. I mean, like, just another world. And you saw... One of the most pleasing tonight was to, think, was to see the crowd in here tonight and see what they were like, different. You know, you don't see people like that in America at live boxing events. Young, vibrant, energetic, good, good times. Uh, Billy Joe, um, Billy Joe Saunders, we had him on tonight by his, by his own admission a bit flat. I know there's been sort of background issues with visas, etc., but he was keen not to make excuses. In a way, do you think he might have enticed the big boys like Canelo into a fight? More so than if he'd gone out there and blew him away in a round? Quite possibly. I mean, um, look, he... Uh, I will make the excuses for him because fighters don't like to do it. I'll just tell you the truth. We had 15 minutes for him to get his visa on Friday before the office, the, the embassy shut. Otherwise, he, wouldn't, he would have been out of the fight. We got the call from God. 
He had to collect it on Saturday, left on Sunday, got here Sunday night. He's hardly slept. He's had a throat infection for two weeks and he was flat as a pancake. Um, but, and I felt he was behind in the fight and I was saying to him, you've got to knock him out to win and he'd done it. So in that respect, that was really impressive. Um, and hopefully people will want to fight him there. Devin Haney, um, look, we didn't quite know what to expect tonight uh, regarding his opponent. He went a distance, you know, the, the crowd were perhaps not too happy at times, but got the knockdown, fairly comfortable, complete shutout. Think he's ready for a big, big lightweight fight now? Yeah, I think so. Really important fight for him tonight, just to get new fans, new audiences, and we've seen that across their numbers. Um, good 12 rounds in the bank. I think if he would have stopped him when he had him down, it would have been a really good performance. Santiago's a good fire. You know, he... he Showed a bit of inexperience, but he was very tough. Smothered his work a lot at the end because once he got hurt, he didn't really want to engage. But good, important fight for Devin Haney and on to a big 2020. Eddie, it's late. You've got a queue of people still waiting, but thank you very much for speaking to Boxing Social. Thanks,